Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. On the last episode, we finished the Deepwood Shrine receiving the Earth Element, and then we were told to go to Mount Krennel, which is pronounced Krennel, I looked it up, uh, and and we can meet a Master Smith Minish, who is not our Master Smith human, Hylian, Grandpa, not humans, Hylians, they're different, legally different, and distinct, so you can't sue us humans, gotcha. Um, and we're gonna go get our Pecori Blade fixed up all nice and good, and that'll be it. That's all it is to it. Easy as, easy as pie. Um, and also, Krennel, uh, I looked it up, and I probably should have known this one because a Krennel is an indentation in the cast, and like a castle, like uh, the things at the top, so you can like shoot arrows through, which I should have known because I, uh, in my first engineering course, oh, do you want to fuse kinstones? Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't have any kinstone pieces. <laughs> yeah, how can I fuse <laughs> You, you tell you tell me I was as low. I almost said it as low, but but I caught it. I knew what I was saying. Um, what about you, kitty? Yeah, meow, meow indeed. Um, so yeah, we want to we want to do that. We want to go to to Mount Crinnell, uh for oh the engineering thing. Yeah, in my first engineering class, we had to design a castle, uh, and I remember remember putting the the indentations on the thing. Uh, but hey, that was back in high school, which was a very long time ago. Uh, this is where Grand yeah Grandpappy's over there. I mean, come over here. Uh, cause if you remember, we fused kinstones with the Hardy Gurdy Man, uh, and I once again want to apologize to Guru Guru for forgetting that Guru Guru's name was Guru Guru and not the Hardy Gurdy Man, because the Guru Guru does rock a Hardy Gurdy as well. Um, so you know, it, I would say it was an easy mistake to make, but who doesn't just remember? Guru Guru and uh, and Hardy Gurdy and who they are back and forth, and knowing that who's who and what's what so we have access to town we can run around town we can meet a lot of people we can do a lot of things we probably won't poke around in every single house and talk to everybody because uh, i have an idea of everything that we can do that's immediately available to us but we'll, we'll poke around and look and learn some things we'll learn something here from swift blade I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of hyrule if you train with me i guarantee that your skill will increase dramatically he also does a little bit of singing so would you like to train here Please. Oh, you actually have to hit. I've been hitting R to advance text instead of uh, A, but you actually have to hit A or start. I hit start in that case because I'm still getting the buttons confused uh, to advance it. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah it's pretty easy. I get it. Norma start off this move. Haha, <laughs> very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. It's it's normal. This is the only way you'll ever learn. I call this the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Uh, possession. This is very normal. This is what they do in schools. They possess you, and then you do a thing, and then you learn a thing. And then you're good. Phew. Now, you must try it for yourself. Press and hold. Yeah, we get it. Yep. We'll release our destructive might. We got... Oh, that's... That's... That's the... Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Master. That was the wrong one. But yeah. See? I did, I did it. Yes, yeah, fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. You know, if you ever forget, you can hold down the sword button to do the sword. I mean, it is nice to have it, like, documented somewhere. And now, uh, uh, Swift Blade... At ease. Uh, and if you recall, this this game came out uh, in 2005 uh, for me. This is North America. Uh, Swift, Swift Blade looks like Legolas to me because I believe I believe the uh, the Lord of the Rings movies were airing around that, that time. I think that's the right time frame. Uh, but I I always see Legolas when I look at um, Swift Blade, uh, and that's just the way it is. Uh, we can come over here and we can uh, talk to Anju, and I believe she has a little quest for us where we. Uh, pick up chickens and stuff, but we actually don't want to go to her just yet, because um, she will give us a reward. Uh, and we, we don't want her reward yet. I hate rewards, is what I'm saying. I am a laid-back, easy-going kind of guy. Not a care in the world, and that's just the way I like it. And nobody, no one else is that way. No one loves to just chill. We all like being very stressed, unlike this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, hurdy gurdy man, I know. We do our best to make this a nice, cozy place where people can relax. My ideal cafe is a place where everyone can just let it all hang out. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I get it. What about you? We hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. Yeah, got any goss for us right now? Make yourself at home, hee hee. Not really goss. I said I wasn't going to talk to everybody, but now I'm talking to everybody. 
Uh, you can move bookcases and stuff. Try and push and pull things. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> After all, you're young. You should be trying all kinds of new things. Ha! Push and pull everything. Uh, and Grandma has something for us. It looks like if we were to fuse kinstones with her, we would uh, get rupees. Normally, you'll get a little bubble above their head showing what will happen if you fuse kinstones with them. Cheers! Yay, cheers! Raise your milk for a toast. I wonder what I should have for dinner. Um, eh, I feel you. I'm always wondering what I can have for dinner. Oh, and there was like a tiny little um, ladder back there. I almost said staircase. I don't know why my brain can't keep them straight. But unfortunately, it's just a too a little for us. What are we going to do? Uh, what will you get if us if we fuse kinstones with you? A mystery. So the mystery ones are always mean it's something that, you know, like you saw like the, the rupee there. Whenever you see, um, you know, something interesting like that where it's a question mark, it's something, something more fun than usual will happen. The door is shut. We can't open it from this side. Uh, so this shop, uh, shop's locked. This shop's not open yet. Uh, this one opens up later in the game. Uh, and also the raffle lady is now the fruits lady. Veggie man, still veggie man. And we can come in here and there's shoes being made. We heard, uh, actually I was going to say we heard that this guy almost stepped on a pakori in a shoe. But I don't know if we were told that it was the shoemaker uh, or the, the cobble, the cobbler. I believe that the uh, cobbler is a shoemaker, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, I was just like, yeah, it was the cobbler, shoe, shoe person. It's probably them. Um, what's in here? Uh, it's the bakery. Oh, the bakery. I remember how the bakery works. A bakery, a little strange. Uh, we can come over here and talk to uh, the baker. Hmm, hmm, must make deliciousness. We can come over here. Oh, Ezla. Sniff to sniff. Hmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? Yeah, just pop some dough straight into my boy's mouth. Or, I'm my boy. Uh, Ezlo is my dad? We have a grandpa, so I guess Ezlo's our dad now. Um, you're not supposed to eat raw dough because you'll get salmonella. Not because of the eggs, but because of the raw flour. So if you want to eat raw dough, you just toast the, uh, the, the, the flour first. And then you can make cookie dough with no fear at all. Because apparently eggs are, are fine, which makes a lot of sense. Um, because, you know, people... Um, you know, like like in your Rockies and stuff, uh, the the training montages and stuff. So you come over here to the one and only bakery of Wheaton and Pita, which are such cute names. Um, I also love her sprite with like her little like closed eyes. Like I guess a lot of them are gonna have like the closed eye look because of just sprite limitations. But she kind of has that anime closed eye look, and I always love that. Uh, just the closed eye look, very good. It's a cute sprite. Delicious brioche, which may or may not have something special inside. It's filling and it's filling and fulfilling. And only 20 rupees. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy one. And I keep hitting R. Uh, it looks so crusty and delicious. And we got a kinstone piece <laughs> inside your tasty treat. What incredible luck. Um, so yeah, this is like a like a Kinder Egg factory uh, where they're pumping out kinstone uh, piece thing. So we can come in here and we can see that there are 11 different kinds of kinstones. Hey. Uh, the way it works, I believe, is there's... Oh, how many colors are there, actually? I don't remember how many. I, th I assume there's four colors and then most of them have three different shapes to them uh, like you see we got like one with like a plus kind of shape and they'll have like different indentations uh we can come in here we can review our tiger scroll we can come and look at our mysterious seashells they're not secret seashells stop saying that no one's gonna believe you so please stop saying that uh we can come out here uh we cleaned off this spot but no one's moved in yet and beetle is nowhere to be found uh, so we will miss them. You wanted to do something, so let me talk to you. I do want to fuse kinstones. Oh, shoot, and it even, mit uh, I almost said Mitches instead of matches. Um, hell yeah, let's fuse with June. Thank you, June. Now let's see what happens. Um, so I believe that there's like an RNG element to like the kinstones. I assume all of the people asking what they're asking for is set in stone. Um, nice, it mar marks in our map. I wonder if it'll stay marked um, like if I were to... Now go check our map. Uh, woods, diminished woods. Yeah, we can see on the map that we have a, a thing. Uh, we can't get over to that part of the woods just yet, though. So it's you know, no, no worry. We'll we'll get over there uh, eventually. I swap my things because I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Please go back. I like the sword. I like the sword and B. That's the way my brain works, and we'll just have to we'll have to deal with it. Okay, now we, we've looked around. Uh, this house is empty. Can't go in there. Maybe maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoos have gotten out. Uh, can you catch them for me? So just like an Ocarina of Time, Anju is our our cuckoo lady who need the cuckoo. 
And what we're gonna do for her is we're gonna find it a cuckoo and we're gonna throw the cuckoo in her thing. Uh, you can see this golden cuckoo. I don't know if the golden cuckoo is worth more. Couldn't seem to pick it up. Uh, but the golden cuckoo, I don't know if it's worth more, but it's more of a pain. You see that I'm throwing it because if you were to, oop, oop. It's a pain because you can't pick the damn thing up. It's a pain because uh, if you walk with it for too long, uh, it'll eventually just jump out of your hands. Uh, so you wanna just keep throwing it every few steps. Uh, we come in here and we get a reward, 10 mysterious seashells, which you're gonna need a lot of, and 60 rupees, which conveniently now fills up our uh, our wallet because there is a wallet max. This is a Legend of Zelda game. You gotta come and purchase new wallets or find them in the wild. And luckily, we can find uh, the first wallet upgrade in the shop. I believe the way the shop works is different things will uh, unlock at different points of games, like when you find new items, like, like let's say you didn't have bombs and you got to this point, the shop wouldn't have bombs, but finding the bombs will let you get into the shop and they now have bombs, you know? Uh, I believe some of them are activated by uh, cash amounts as well. So like this wallet wouldn't have appeared until we had 80 rupees if uh, the little, little guide I, I looked at before starting this Let's Play is correct, and I'm now just trying to desperately remember uh, everything I've ever read and hoping for the best. And we come over here, let me see some secret seashells. How much are 30 secret seashells? 200 rupees for 30 mysterious seashells! Boy, it would sure be... Ah, <laughs> uh, my friend, you're too, far too clever by half, but you won't be clever haggling with me. I almost said clevering. Oh my god, I, I am too clever by half because I'm half as clever as I should be. Yeah, so if for whatever reason we were to need a whole lot of mysterious she 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 seashells, we would need a lot of uh, money. So uh, yeah, I remember this game being a Legend of Zelda game where you need quite a lot of money. Uh, and since we are constrained by our wallet, we'll have to keep an eye on it and come back to town from time to time to make sure like, um, you know, we're not, we're not wasting our money. Arf, arf, arf. Yeah. Was there a sound effect? Ah, yes. I couldn't hear it over the sound of my own damn voice. Uh, the tournament was incredible. I had my seat cheering before you knew it. Uh, I bet you liked Avati. He was a dark and mysterious stranger, and we all love those. <laughs> yeah, that sword fighting tournament was so exciting. Oh, if only my husband were as talented enough comp to compete. Ugh. Husbands, am I right? They're always this. Wait, come back. Come back here. We want to we wanna talk to the... Yeah. We got to talk to y'all. Come back, y'all. Oh, he doesn't yawn in this game? Damn, they didn't put the yaw in this game. Mm. What a waste of a postman. Didn't didn't even make him yawn. Since this building, uh, this door's connected to the end, I'm guessing it's still closed, so we'll leave, not come back. What do you say, old man? Mayor's doing a fine job no matter what the people say. Uh, old people are always saying that. I disagree. <laughs> I have a sword, you can let me out. Sorry, but I can't let you pass. There are monsters out there. Check out my sword. That's the proof I'm an adult. What about you? Oh, it looks like they're having fun. I wish I could play with them. But yeah, you can't. Looks like you got a little snotty nose, so you'd probably get them sick or whatever. Well, if it isn't long the second, it is good to see you again. School's in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. She sounds like she knows Lonk and is probably a little peeved with them. Lonk! Big drop out of elementary school energy, so guessing. Lonk's like, ah, see, I'm getting out of this popsicle stand. And yes, and many times you see it, it rattles you. You're not letting me out either. Can't go to the castle. Why would I want to go to the castle? That would be a hassle. I came to check out a book, but they're not open yet. Ha, ah, well, age brings patience, Sonny. I can wait. I always feel like a weirdo, because I'm i a decently patient person. Um, and, you know, everyone everyone always on their phones. Um, you know, I'll go somewhere, and it's like, oh, I need to wait a little bit. I don't mind, like, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll just sit here alone with my thoughts so I can get all nice and existential. Um, especially now, like... Uh, you know, with, with like uh, pandemic stuff. Not having to worry about going to places as much uh, very often. Hey, I want to go that way. Ho ho, so you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Oh, I, that's interesting. They gate you um, past this gate by learning about the spin attack. Yeah, there are monsters out there, kid. I will be safe. Uh, Mount Crennel. Cool, cool, cool. We got the post office and they have... Well, I was going to say, oh, they have a, um, a post... The mailbox i'm not making this mistake again they have a mailbox on top of the uh on the, the building i was like that's so funny but that's kind of a running thing with this town where they all have like things up there stamp stamp right to the left yeah you get in your groove it happened it happened all the time what's in this house we're actually able to come in here i came from a faraway land you can tell by my clothing can't you 
Uh, I can tell that you... Yeah, I don't have any kinstone pieces. Uh, how... I don't know. How could I fuse down any kinstone pieces? Damn. Won't even let me check what kind of a uh, thing I need. The Swift Blade School. Yep. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, a very direct uh, training style. Uh, oh, this dog. <laughs> this dog is going to gate our progress. Can't get past that dog. Not even if you were to pet it real nice. You heard it, Growl. Uh, we can come over here. We have a new enemy, a Keaton, uh, which I believe the Keatons, the first time they appeared, was in Wind Waker, I believe. They're like like little like kitty fox people. Well, they're, they're, they're foxes because they're, they're Keatons, you know? So do, do, does Keaton specifically have to deal with the fox? Maybe it's a Japanese thing. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, go back. Uh, you're not going to say it again. Well, that was funny. I accidentally hit the button, and all of a sudden, <laughs> as well as like, what's wrong with you? How do you not remember what we're doing? It's like, damn, get off my, get off my back, old man. Jeez, I'm doing my best over here. Oh, we got a business scrub. You gonna? Oh, I tried to hit start on the thing instead of the actual button that I have mapped to start. I should probably rectify that, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this. Most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. What do you say? Uh, hell yes. Give me a bottle. Empty bottle for 20 rupees. <laughs> Sucker. Um, we are low on rupees, though. I probably should find some more money. I guess we could go and help Anju more. Um, I don't know if her name is specifically Anju in this version. I'm just gonna keep calling her Anju until we are given an alternative name, because hey, that, that, that Anju. I mean, oh, this is kind of shaped like a question mark. Uh, like, Anju was, like, the, the cuckoo lady before... Wait, that was money. That wasn't money. No, that was even better than money. That was Secret Seashell. That's, like, double money, baby. Royal Valley. Royal Valley, not where we're going. Not where we're going at all, but, yeah. You can slightly poke around. I see Lakarov. You can't hide from me. I guess we won't come over here. There's no reason to come over here anyways. Uh, we know where we're going, and we'll keep heading that away. We will, you know, peek into little little hidey holes and check things out as we go. Because uh, I'm... Oh! Mount Crennel's base. Interesting. I was assuming we'd have to come up here first. Oh, I guess I probably could have seen that from across the thing. Uh, interesting. This doesn't read a screen transition to me. If, if it were me, I would have made this like little yellow dirt patch extend like past so it looks like, you know, there's a little road that you're getting on. Um, I think that would have communicated better what is happening there. Um, so a demerit on this game turns out uh, the Minish Cap. Bad game. Sorry, I don't make the rules here. Oh, there is a rupee. I'm gonna go ahead and just climb up this line and get a rupee. Uh, if you remember, or well, I was gonna say if you if you remember, but that's probably like a condescending way to state it because I was about to like, if you remember Oracle of Ages and Seasons, you could push nuts around and then grow things and then go up them. I think it's ages specifically because you use the time travel mechanic to make the, the thing to grow. Um, uh, but maybe you haven't played that game. I did a Let's Play years ago. Would not recommend watching it because it was a very, very long time ago. Don't know if it's how bad it is. It's probably quite not good. Uh, tell me something good. A friend of mine in the cave just east of here, Trilby Highlands. Oh, uh, this was probably like the the hint to go find the bottle because we were just in the Trilby. Trilby? Is that Trilby? Like, like, Trilby. Yeah, like, like, Trilby. I think a Trilby's a hat. Like, I think a Trilby's like a, like a, fedora looking hat thing in the thing i don't i don't do hats i don't know um yes yeah, so we were just giving the hint uh, i was like i keep hitting the wrong button but no that was the right thing it's just it remembered the screen i was on last so we got a bottle you can put things it's a zelda game you use the bottle you put things in the bottle it also works like that in real life i suppose but in zelda bottles are very special and good and just like that boom we were able to fill up our water and make the miracle of life happen. Uh, so we got some Tektites, uh, a classic Zelda enemy. They're just spiders. They bounce. And also there was a classic Zelda enemy, the Boulder, um, which is always classified as an enemy, which I've talked about this multiple times before, but it just tickles me so much that, like, the Boulder is considered an enemy. Like, I guess it makes sense the way, like, it's probably, like, programmed as an enemy or whatever. But, you know, Boulder screams obstacle to me. Not specifically enemy. Uh, oh, fairies. Oh, you know what we can do with fairies? We can go ahead and cram one of them in this bad boy. Yeah. And now we've caught a fairy. The winged friend will come to your life. Your life energy is depleted. So yeah, fairies will bring us back to life if you're unfamiliar with the Legend of Zelda series for whatever reason. Uh, we'll probably have to let the... Oh, look, you can see the fairy's wings beating in the bottle. Uh, that's cool. 
and oh, it makes me feel a little bad. Uh, always feels a little bad putting them in the bottle, but we probably gonna need their help because um, they're useful little friends to help us out. And you know, we let them out when we die, either that or we consume them, depending on like what the animation looks like. Because you know, in some games, not much of an animation. I think in most things you can see the fairy fly away nowadays, and it's not just like, well, I guess you died and crammed the fairy in your gob, and that's the end of that. Oh, secret seashell, thank you. Uh, what does this say? Beware crumbling walls, yep. I was like, this looks uh, this looks suspicious. We don't have very many bombs, so I would like to find a bomb pickup, because otherwise we'll need to run back to town and buy some, uh, and that would be a pain. Um, oh, choo-choos, these are red choo-choos. Um, I don't know if red choo-choos are any different than the green. I think the, the red ones, their thing is, it seems like they just duck into the ground, uh, whereas the green ones, once they come out of the ground, you can just kind of wail on them. Oh, we can come over here. Uh, and we got a, we got a little minish point. Uh, oh, I don't remember if um, if these were given a name, like minish, like portal or something. Bakori portal, like, you know, you get the alliteration. You can find these PPs. You find a PP, you become a small. You can bounce off those those gems, break your fall, break your back, break your entire everything. <laughs> so this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. There may be other rock portals. Keep your eyes peeled, boy. And just like that, we can come over here and come over to this green water, which is probably going to be special. I always love the Moldozer enemies because, you know, they're just cute little, like, ladybug looking things but they got like a kind of like a skull face like on their like back you know they're, they're a cute little bug bugs it's interesting so bugs you know typically they're thought to be gross but it seems like maybe it's just I, the the specific people that i talk to and um associate with or see tweets about on twitter but it seems like bugs have gotten like a good pr boost uh recently because it seems like there's a lot of people who are like yeah bugs they're cute and it's like yeah, I like bugs. There's very few bugs that I'd be like, yeah, it's cute, though. But, you know, it seems like bugs. Bugs doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, Mount, Crennel, uh, Mount Crennel Mineral Water in your bottle. It's piping hot. I don't know if this has a, um, a timed mechanic like the uh, hot spring water in uh, Majora's Mask where it'll cool off eventually. As seeing, seeing as it said it's piping hot, I assume it'll eventually like turn back to normal water or something. Don't know what we need to do with it, but... Hey, it's green. We're probably going to need it. That's just the way life works. If it's green, it's important because green is my favorite color. Oh, my favorite color, which gives it significance, you know? I feel like I state my <laughs> favorite colors in like every video I make. I always feel like there's a point where I'm like, I like green and then purple and then pink. And I never go on past there because it's a name how many times I've mentioned my favorite colors, and we're actually at a bomb, so we're gonna come over here instead. Um, oh boy, I bet you're gonna, but you're gonna sell some bombs, aren't you? Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling bombs. Yeah, I need them. Thanks, Deku. Scrub. Emphasis on the scrub. You were, you were helpful. It's just I don't. I don't like to partake in this capitalism uh, if I don't have to. So just give me bombs and then I'll get you some mineral water, you know? We can, like, that's still like bartering, but you know, we're kind of like, you know, forming, we're forming a bond here, you know, doing a little bit of a community build. Oh, I don't, didn't want to do that. I wish I could pick that thing up and put it back in my inventory. Um, is it a Skyward Sword? I think it's Skyward Sword. It's where you can put it back in your inventory if it doesn't go off. Um, I don't know if there's any other games where your bombs are limited in that way where you're able to put it away because uh, Zelda's kind of moved away from that uh, um, as of late. I should... Oh, oh, yeah, once you pull off their iron mask, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Yeah, these are Helmarocks. Helmar... Oh, oh, Helmarocks are interesting enemies. Hey! Because, um, like, they... These are, like, more, like, bird-like. I Yeah, like, look at them. They're, like, cutie little birds. Um, but, like, the Helmarocks were also in, like, the 2D... Uh, other, like, Game Boy 2D Zelda games. Uh, and I don't believe that they were bird-like in that. I never got that read off of them, especially like if you were to go to like A Link to the Past, where there's the Helmasaur King, which, oh I, oh, I guess this is a Helma Rock and the others are Helmasaur. So like, oh, it's a Helma Rock, you know, and then Rock R-O-C. So it's like, it, it bird. 
It's funny that it tries to charge at you, but once you start charging, it kind of like loses its like footing. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Instead of just being like, oh, well, you're just sucking me towards you. I guess I'll just jump. I mean, I guess either way, it would end up in the, the Gus jar uh, and then we win. All oh, that pause like made me worry that the game crashed. And I was like, how happened? Hmm, hmm, ah, of course, how silly of me. Hey, my boy, jump into that whirlwind over there for me. <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? I don't, I don't know, Ezlo, you're the adult here, I'll believe you. So yeah, we jump into the thing, and then our, our, the air, oh, we needed to come over here so we can make a landing first, I was, did not get that read on it. So yeah, we, we can use uh, Ezlo like a, like a parachute, do some uh, a gliding, uh, pre Breath of the Wild, so, eat it Breath of the Wild, I see you, I see you cribbing off of the Minish Cap taking the the good work from the people at uh, at Capcom and flagship and then being like no this is our original thing that everybody's gonna steal forever now because the the uh, the paraglider I, actually I don't even know if that the, the glider in that game has like a special like oh this is the blank a blank or if it is just paraglider um, oh I did not get that read I thought this was like a big wall or something um, it turned out it was a bridge it is interesting though to see like you know, ever since the paraglider came out, it seems like every single like open world game wants that gliding mechanic. Because like, yeah, how, how are you gonna um, get across like the landscape? You need a you need a big glider. It's it's a, it's a good, helpful, smart idea. Um, so you know, you should steal away. I say I, I say this like, hmm, yes, it's interesting that these games are doing it. But I don't play open world games. I don't really like them all that much. Uh, Breath of the Wild blew me away. How much I liked it when I just I typically don't really go for those kinds of games um i don't know what it is about it because it's like hypothetically like i should enjoy them like i really love breath of the wild like i like exploring and stuff just like a lot of them like your like your ubisoft kind of style like things um like other than like the shitty like business company stuff uh that that ubisoft does like uh like sexual harassment and stuff like that just throwing that out there uh also just i don't don't really care for those styles of games. And oh, look at these. These are uh, pestos like that we saw in the Deepwood Shrine. Uh, and you know, they're just little flies. <laughs> they're not a big deal. We were just able to just murk them like that. It was no problem. Um, here's a little thing over here. Nothing to do though. So we can only assume that we have to find a miniature portal that I probably walked past while I wasn't paying attention. Or we could break out our gust jar and do some uh, cleaning up. Yeah, there we go. Or is that like a there we go? Like, I don't think we can use this as a miniature portal. Yeah, like just because it got the the thing. No, ma no matter how much we, we show it our booty, it's not going to help. Uh, that's just, I guess, a hole that we can fall into once we become Minish. Uh, not a, not available to... Oh, here we go. There was a hole here. I did not see that hole. <laughs> and all this dust, the spiky dust or whatever, because we walked into it and hurt us, was covering the stone, which... This makes sense. I guess it could happen like a big pile of ash or something like piling it. And I guess I can skip this animation. Uh, and we can just walk on out of here. Okay, so what's happening here? We got, um, when we check our thing, we still got our mineral water. Um, so I suppose we don't need to get more. Oh, hey, a Cory lives here. A minute, a minute. I guess they prefer to call it. Wow, ah, water is in the light. Water is life for crinal beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, but the green the green beans like Mount Crinal Mineral Water. Mount Crinal Mineral Water. Mount Crinal Mineral Water can be found only in a spring here on Mount Crinal. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Crinal. Okay, well, I mean the base. I'm gonna take your kinstone piece. Uh, bye, thank you for the game mechanics. I enjoy it, your house is cute. I like your little glowy mushrooms. I've entered your house again by accident because I why is my pinky going? I'm sitting at a weird. I, I've been trying to find a new way to like sit when I, when I record because I normally crane my neck a stupid way and I end up like, I'll record and then like my neck will hurt. Um, oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I guess the way I was sitting, was bad for my pinky. I suppose. I, I don't know. Not gonna worry about it. Don't have time to worry about it. We got Zelda to play, baby. Bean. Bean. Is that enough for bean? No, that was not enough for bean. Not enough for bean at all. I've wasted my water now. I we needed to move the bean. Yeah, I should have known. I, I why? Well, hey, how was I supposed to know that we could pick up the bean? It was very big. It's a very big. I you know it's a normal size bean. Y'all understand? There we go. Boom. 
So now we've got the thing. Now I can just pour my mineral water that I brought all the way from the beginning because I'm a bright, clever boy who knew it would be important. I'm gonna go back and get some mineral water. I've returned with the life water. And this time I'm not pouring it out on a tiny bean. This time I did the smart thing because I was thinking, I was thinking the entire time. I was like, this tiny bean's not gonna, this isn't gonna be enough. And I just note, I forgot about the little other, um, uh, Minish cave we could have entered, or I, I suppose we don't know that a Minish lives over here, uh, but the little uh, little hole in the thing that we could have done something with. Forgot all about this because I was thinking about Bean. As you do, get you get Bean on your mind, and it's hard to get Bean off the mind. We all love Bean. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna throw us back to the the door, um, like like in some Zelda games. It'll when you fall into a hole, it you know puts you right back where you fell. Or it'll like warp you back to to the like entryway of room. Uh, so you know, it's convenience. It's nice. Thank you very much for this kinstone piece. See, that is helpful to come back here and get. Um, so yeah, I wonder about the kinstone pieces. It's just like some are RNG, because uh, like you know, obviously we've seen bakery where we can just get some. Like maybe it was like baked in <laughs> like that like oh the first time you get this one you'll always get that and then eventually it'll sell out or something not entirely sure uh, how that works um or if uh, or if like certain ones are like 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 oh the green ones are rng because they're luck based and then the other ones aren't um i don't know i i don't have like a like a point to come to because from that because i i don't know i assume it's just probably rng and mixed up i should i'll, I'll look into that before uh the next time uh, we we do a thing. I was gonna say next time we record, um, but that you know ne next episode you you, you, you understand. I'll, I'll try and look it up, see if I can learn a thing about. Oh nope, here here are the guys the uh, the hard hat beetles that I hate because like gotta got pull their thing off. It's less of a problem in this game since the the picking things up is just like built into it. Like in the oracles, it's a pain because you have to switch over to the power power bracelet to pick up the thing because um, it was like an item like how our gust jar is in this game. Uh, which made them a little hard to kill. But in this one, not so much. We can just uh, walk up to them and pick it up. And we can walk up to them, pick up the rock off their head, and then slay them. Um, which, you know, then we just have to be careful. Um, was there, there was a direction where we could have gone the other way, right? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, the wall, the mines, we come up here. Uh, it sounds like there's going to be a wall. One could only assume the crinal wall is a wall. I right, probably... I could use my spin attack. Does the spin attack have to? Yeah, the spin attack has to hit the glow to, to charge, which is quite a long wind up for for it. Uh, Crenel wall. Watch out for falling rocks. Well, no problem. Oh nope. There was a falling rock or a boulder. It is a boulder. It's it's canonical name, and you will respect it. Oh bombs, nice. That's like 15 rupees, baby. I think it was 30 for 10. Um, so yeah, we can't climb those crenel walls yet or walls at all. Uh, so anytime we see these, we're just shit out of luck. So we know the way we can go. Why am I doing, why am I picking up all these? I'm just like, well, if one of these is a guy, I'll get the drop on him, but that's not gonna help us in. Yeah, we can here, if I come over here. Yeah, just, I hadn't been doing that trick, but you know, every, everyone who plays all the game knows that trick where you just, you can poke the wall and it'll make the noise. I feel like that's in literally every Zelda game. Maybe, maybe there's like one or two, like maybe like in a, like in Spirit Tracks or, or um, Phantom Hourglass, maybe not, because that would be a little strange with the the uh, stylus controls, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time uh, since I played those games. At one point, I was planning to, like, do a, like, kind of what I'm doing with this Let's Play, where I'm kind of, like, you know, chilling through, vibing. Uh, that one probably, oh, that's a different choo-choo. These, these white choo-choos turn into spikes. But you probably don't like, yeah, you don't. You don't like getting hit with jar. Nobody enjoys being hit with a jar. I suppose we could probably also use a bomb uh, on them to see how the gust jar interacts with them. But for now, jar will do. I wish you weren't standing there. I wish you weren't standing there at all. Yeah, that's a... Oh, no, you can also slash them. It's just once they go spiky. Once they go spiky, they get... Pikey, I guess? Because, like, pike, like, it, like not like the fish, uh, but, but like the, the spear thing. Uh, that you, you, you poke people with, you know? I don't know. That's all I got. Um, shoot, I feel like I was making a point um, before I started talking about those guys. But it's a gun now. So that's, oh, um, I was pl uh, planning to do a, a um, 
Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass. Uh, probably a little bit more cash in this one. It'd probably be a little bit more similar to what I did with um, with uh, Skyward Sword. Not that I'm what I'm doing is all that different from what I did with Skyward Sword right now. Um, this one's a little bit more. Uh, I have a bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. Um, but uh, luckily for me, uh, Checker Conroy LP'd uh, uh, Phantom Hourglass, which probably means he'll play Spirit Tracks, so he'll play them for me, and then I don't have to worry about the, the emulation stuff, because, uh, you know, while DS emulation viable, uh, you know, why am I killing y'all? In fact, the cats are pain. I'm just gonna, just gonna run on by if I don't need to kill y'all. Um, uh, so I, I appreciated that, because it's like, I really do want to play, replay Spirit Tracks, and honestly, it was like, ugh, I guess I'm gonna have to play Phantom Hourglass to get to it. Uh, because I remember really liking the dungeons in that game, uh, so I would love to re revisit it. But I feel like they'll play them for me, you know, problem solved. Oh, this fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climbing style for only 40 rupees, what a bargain. What do you say? Uh, absolutely. So now we get the grip ring. We can climb cliffs that you could not scale before. Thanks a lot. So we don't, we don't have to equip this. This is no power ring. We can just climb now, baby. And before we get up, you gotta get down to get up, you know, this is, and this is, connects back to where we, hey, well, this connects back to where we started. There's the Krennel wall, which I believe will lead to our ultimate goal, if I'm correct, uh, but we can come down here. This is the base. Yeah, this is just the base-ass base. Okay. So now we know that this connects to uh, where we started, which I probably should have remembered that, you know, been able to um, spatially map it out. Like, oh yeah, that's where we're, we're going. Right, right, right. This makes sense. Um, is this block going to be in my way? Yeah, that block was absolute. Oh, well, I was, about to, I was like, gotta go through the cave. We can climb now. It's not a problem. But I, I, I freaking knew when I saw that block, and I knew that, that block was going to stop us from tug tugging on this mushroom all of the way back. Also, I like that these mushrooms are a different color than the ones that we saw in the woods. The ones in the. This is where we came from. Oh. Cool. I should have. Should have known that. But I, did, I didn't. Sorry. Um, but I like that the mushrooms are a different color here and different biome. You know, it's, it's fun. It's the way mushroom work. Mushroom become a different color. Wait, was there an up that we could go? There was an up we could go. What does it say? Shortcut. Yeah, shortcut to bottom. But what's up here? My sign? You weren't... My sign's not telling me where I should go. The sign. You're supposed to be my friend who tells me where to go. Is this a bomb spot? Nope, doesn't sound like it. It looks like one, though. Uh, nothing we can do in here just yet. So let's get out of here. Whatever. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Nothing to see. Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. We'll do something with it later. When we're bigger, healthier, um, our, our life... That's not what I wanted to do that sign at all. I guess we took out the pee hat, though. Oh, well, hey, problem solved. We don't need to go here at all. So I guess the only thing we had to do is to climb uh, the Krennel Wall uh, back where we saw it, which was over here. I believe we jump down so just drop us off right yeah right next to the crinal wall and we must watch out for falling rocks um commentated uh talking about half egg presses watch out. that one's called watch out for whatever it's a good video you know the video if you don't it's a treat i guess i'll put it in the description now because oh boy it's good it's a good thing to learn about half egg presses um and just just it's, it's just good it's, oh wow! I've, you go so fast going uh, side to side, but uh, up and down uh, a little bit harder to do. Oh nope. Yeah, I watched the hell out of that falling rock. No pro wallow. No bomb throwing. I I understand. There will be no bomb throwing. I will gently set the bomb down. Can't have a problem with that, can you, sign sucker? Oh, I thought. I thought some, something gonna happen. Oh, no, 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 so, something will happen. Oh, whoops, we just gotta, we gotta actually throw the bomb. We're gonna break the rules now. I'm sorry, sign. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? You know the score. We threw a golden bomb, because we're a big fancy... No, you know, you say, we throw neither. You, oh, I should have popped like a save state or whatever so we could see what else they had to say. I assume if we were like, golden bomb or whatever, they'd just be like, no, you didn't, and then we'd have to throw another bomb and repeat it. And you are honest. I must 
reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. We got the big bomb bag. Now we can carry more bombs. Hey, thank you. Uh, so the great fairies in this game, I really, really love the way that they look. Like, you know, they kind of got that, like, uh, normal, like, elfy look to them. Uh, but their, like, wings are, like, different bugs, uh, which is a fun thing. Um, we didn't get the name of that fairy, um, so I'm not going to say it out loud. I guess I'll put it on screen because they do have, like, names. It's like, oh, this is, like, the blank bug, like, oh, the butterfly fairy and, like, stuff like that, uh, which is nice. Uh, and I enjoy the way they look, uh, even though, like... It is a little generic, uh, because, you know, with, like, Zelda fairies, like, they tend to be very strange and upsetting, like, in terms of, like, the 3D great fairies. Um, and I, oh, blue tektite. I didn't even, like, realize, like, um, because, like, you know, red and blue, like, red enemies, um, are normally the weaker ones. Um, blue enemies are stronger. That's, like, a, just a Zelda thing. Um, uh, and, like, I didn't even, like, it didn't click with me with the tektites, uh, until, like, that red one started, uh, causing some hub above. Uh, oh, hey, you, you got me. You were a very patient boy, and for that, you deserved the damage you dealt to me. Uh, looks like we can pull on a mushroom. I don't need to be doing this. I just, I keep seeing these, like, rocks, and, like, knowing I can, like, pick them up, I'm like, yeah, yeah, mm hmm? All right. Let me come over here, and we can see uh, a dirt wall. So, obviously, you want to put a bomb in front of the dirt wall. That's, hey, it's what you do. You put a bomb, and that's... You idiot! Of course, that's not what you're supposed to do. Why would you? Boy, these, these, uh, these, these rock beetles are like. Oh no, oh, that was a lot of boulders. Let's get the hell inside. Or, uh, or beat me up. Oh, who are you? I'm the Colonel Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climb this forbidding mount. For but for you know, forbidding, not not even foreboding. Forbidding mountain alone. Because it's forbidden, you see. I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen the strange pattern, strange pattern walls as you climb this mountain? Bombs, bombs are the answer. Oh well, thank you. I do want to fuse kinstones, though. Uh, I cannot fuse kinstones with you unless you want to like mix match your colors and also the the. It's it's not the same cut. It's not the same color. But if we cram it together hard enough, maybe we can make something happen. Get some good luck and or bad luck. I was not informed on how. Mick, 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 mismatching. Oh boy, I'm having the word problems with the words match. Um, mismatching your kinstones was not instructed on what that does. There, what does look like there's something down there. Maybe we could pop a little save and just drop down. See what's down there. Uh, two types of bean. Oh yeah, uh, we know about the beans. Thank, thank you as well. I'm doing a normal save. I guess I could do. I guess I could do a little sneaky save state. What's the sneaky save state button? Oh, saving. Did I break it? Boy, I heard my I heard my computer chug there. That was weird. I guess because it, it had to access the uh, the hard drive. That was strange. Um, quick save. Uh, shift F3. This quick load is just F3. So now if I hit F3, we're back here. So if this is just like a, a waste of time, we can save a little time. But I saw like some smoke coming from down here. Oh, okay. It just hurts us. I was interested in what the smoke was. You know, you gotta check what the smoke is. And now we got the beep beep territory. Boy, that was a good thing uh, to remove from the Zelda games uh, in the future. Um, I, boy, I wonder if I can find uh, game shark codes. Oh, shoot. I don't know if these will hurt us, but yeah, they're like boulders. Uh, they're like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. If one of us hits us, it'll sting some of the fears. Yeah, so don't want to be hit by the. You could have assumed that you don't want to get hit. Oh. Assume that you don't want to get hit by the water. I should have gone back for fairies. Oh well, I guess I would have had to turn around after I had gotten the um the the mineral water, which would have been a problem. Uh, but yeah, like with a link to the past, I was able to find a a game shark code to disable the beep beeping when you get low health. Uh, I didn't even think about that for for this game. It would be something I'll look into, uh, see if it's feasible at all. I'm not sure. Uh, but here we have a we have a boulder pushing puzzle. I'm a pro at these, and these I don't I don't know what it is. Um, well, I do know what it is. It's nostalgia of like you know the you know Game Boy uh, era games. Uh, you know your Pokemon's, your your Zeldas, where uh, block pushing uh, came up a whole lot, and it's just like yes, this makes my like brain feel good in a way that it made my brain feel good when I was very young. So it's just it's just fun. We're a very we're pushing this boulder pretty slowly. If only the grip ring had made us, if only the grip ring had been a power ring, made us stronger, and then we could have pushed faster, which is a thing that always happens in Zelda games, and is definitely 
a thing that um, I didn't hear in like, uh, I think it was a Matthew Matosis video where he mentioned it and I was like, holy shit, yeah, why don't you get faster as you get stronger? That's such a good point that I had never uh, considered. Like, obviously, the, the reason is because of, you know, game mechanics. Like, when you get stronger, it's just like, because the game is programmed in such a way. It's like, oh, we program these blocks, so it's like, there are different strengths of button up. You're coming back here, bub, because I want to squish you for, for a delicious heart inside of you, if there was one. You did not have a delicious heart inside of you, so um, kudos for you for finding a way to exist without a heart, I suppose. Oh, that one doesn't want to push. Ah, uh, do we want to go? So I put, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just push this whatever way. Feels like, oh, well, I guess we're going down now. <laughs> oh, I guess we're, oh, I've been, I've been bested by the block pushing. I have I been bested? Yeah, because we can't seem to push. Can we, and we can't grab these blocks. These, these blocks, cannot grab them. These blocks are ungrabbable. All right, so I suppose we're going to have to reset the room and come back. Is there something down here? No, it was just like a lantern on the wall. I thought it might've been like a little crack to, to blow up. <clears throat> but no, it was just a detailing on the wall. Are the Helma, Hel Helma rocks gonna come back? I think they're Helma rocks, not Helma sores, uh, at the very least. I could be incorrect about that. Will you push? No, you won't push. So what are we? What are we supposed to do here? I suppose we can see um, like some indents, like like that that block over there, like diagonally left down from us. Like it has that one like pointing up. That doesn't help us. We could never push it in that direction. Oh, was there? We did we get in here? We got in here, right? Oh, we got in here. There was more. There was more direction. I didn't notice the, that there was more direction. I was just like, oh, guess we soft locked ourselves because, I, like I said. I got blocks on the brain, so I'm, th I'm thinking of blocks, baby. Okay, what do we need to do here? So we push down on this. That's not really going to help us all that much. We push down here. Oh, well, we can't push down anywhere. Will you push again? Or what are we supposed to do? Help. Help. Please help. Is there something... Oh boy, I was just like, haha, yeah, I grew up with the blocks and I love them. And now I'm confused. Oh, you know what? I, I, I figured I figured it out. Don't worry, I figured it out. I got it. Boom, boom. I just wasn't I wasn't I wasn't thinking <laughs> two dimensionally. I, I was I over I overthought it and there we go. No, no problems whatsoever. We got it. I I was being the fool all along. Don't worry. I've learned my lesson. You're you're I learned, well, I knew you were a guy. I knew you were a guy, and I, I still fumbled it. Please give me a delicious, tasty heart. Can I just suck the leaves off of you? Oh, no, but I can suck you into a thing. What if I... Yeah, we can pull off the rock. Oh, okay. That might be a better way to, to check these rocks than to use the, the gust jar. I was just like, oh, well, the rock will probably weigh too much uh, to be uh, shot out. But I probably shouldn't have undersold our friend, the gust jar. Our most favorite and bestest of friends, since it's the only dungeon item we've gotten just yet. Go ahead and clear the way, and we can tug on a mushroom. Because had, hadn't we, had we not moved uh, those pots out of the way, we would have just smacked our face into the pot, even though it looked like we jumped very far. Uh, but despite that, oh, no, you managed to hit me without your mask. You, I don't think we've ever, ever been hit by uh, a helmet rock before, so I've decided that you become more powerful without your mask, and that's probably oh, you're too powerful. You were on the ground. Can't suck. Can't do a suck on the ground. But once you come up, motherfucker, it's over. It's not either. You're too powerful. I can't suck away the little droplets away from you like I could the boss. It turns out the normal the normal choo choos more powerful than the boss. Well, I can't say that for sure. We fought a green choo choo, a big green choo choo. If you were to believe uh, what I, the the boom 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 of the uh, of the bombs dropping made me think for a second that the um uh, the sound was different. Can we throw this on the button? Well, not with a throw like that. Oh, oh, it's not a, it's not, I see, it's a, it's a hitty switch. I thought it was a standy switch. I see, I understand now. I, I misunderstood what was happening there. I wonder if we would have been able to throw a, um, a, uh, a pot across. Speaking of pot, just nail you in the face, because pots, very powerful, deal a whole lot of damage. Um, I don't have my friend, my bestest of friends, my favorite of friend, the Gus Jar. Thank you, Gus Jar. And I, I know you're a guy. I can see it. Oh, you're not a guy. Not a guy at all. There are no guys here. What about you? Not you. That, that, that's just set dressing wrong. That one, you know, it was disconnected, so I, I had a suspicion. What is happening? Oh, we just gotta push the... push the rock over to the, the guy. I like when this rock's a different color. The, the like, gray and the, uh, the pink 
the pinkish purple color. So it's, it's, it's a good look for rock. Rock has really uh, blown up uh, since we saw it last time when it was just a rock. Now it's a uh, now it's fancy. It's got got kind of like a Katamari vibe with the way that the um the like plating on rock is. And we can move statue with face. Our friend statue with face. Thank you very much. Um, we can come over here. I'm guessing these are non-movable. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to block puzzle from an alternate direction. Let's go ahead and just get rid of these uh, fellas before I can I check on the other side. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you jump at me, idiot. Oh no, you have the tasty thing I would desire. Um, can I push you? Yeah, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't, that didn't take any time at all. No problem. I was like, oh, that heart's gonna despawn, but no, 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 no. I, w I wasn't really looking at the puzzle ahead, because I was like, okay, well, those blocks aren't, like, close enough that it's going to cause a problem for us uh, with the ones I move, and I was like, oh, you know, it'll probably be a bit more of a difficult thing than just, you know, just push a few different directions. We'll just roll past you moldozers. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm, well, I was gonna say low, low in health, but I'm over half health now. Um, I was just like, why can't I go? It's because wall. But we've made it to Melari's Mine. Oh, Melari's Mine. Have, have we heard this music before? I feel like I've heard this music very recently for some reason. Ting along, ting along, dig along for iron. So here we have the uh, the cave minish we were told about. Ting along, ting along, dig, dig down, dig around, dig the ground for iron. Cute little song they're singing, you know, like some hi-ho shit. What about you? This mine belongs to Melari. And us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, ting, ting along, tong? Oh, it's ting tong along. Ting along, tong along, all the long way to get your sword repaired. The boss is down on the lowest level. But what's in here? Oh, this is where they all sleep. Oh, it's like a, it is like a seven apprentices, seven doors, like a, like a snow of white. So, you know, some fa fairy tale shit happening here, except the, the dwarves are, are minish. And they're, they're teeny, and well, I was gonna say they're miners, but I guess that the the dwarves and the opening of Snow White are miners. I don't know the the original story, how that works out. Ting, ting, tong, tong along. Uh, deep down, dig down, dig joy in the ground. I like your little song. Uh, we can see uh, Smithy, where they where they do some uh, smithing. You don't want me to go out this way. If you head outside from here, you can see the mine the humans dug, but the boss do doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Okay, so there's a human mine up ahead, uh, as well as, uh, I guess, the Minish uh, chilling in their mine. Uh, you're clearly the boss, but we'll talk to your apprentices first, because we're also a blacksmith's apprentice. We we relate with them more. Ting along, tong along, huh? What? Who am I? Why, my lad, I'm the second best of the Minish metalsmiths. I'm making swords with the boss. So if you're the second best, who are you? Ting along, tong along, huh? What? Who am I? Well, I'm no less than the third best of the Minish Metal Slits. I'm making swords with the boss. Okay. I thought this was going to be like a third most powerful mole situation where like they're both like, I'm the second best. I love this guy. Bit of a thicker Minish than we've seen with a big hammer. I love a big hammer. Eh. I would have wanted it a deeper. Uh, green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be the... The, might you be young, Lonk the Second? I felt like there should be a there, for, a the there for some reason. I am Melari, Master Smith. I am also your grandfather. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, uh, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Pecoria blade. I love all this adventure with what with the rescuing apprentices and such, I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. It ain't no thing. Just like the king said, it's no big deal. It'll take uh, it'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. So they're gonna get started, pounding with their <laughs> Mario and Luigi ass hammers. Uh, uh, they'll be here. They'll be a while long. The second, let's leave them to it and find that element. So they'll be fixing the sword, just pan it with the hammer, uh, reforging it. Uh, with that, uh, we're going to the mine. I feel like I might have missed some heart pieces on the way. I think there was a heart piece I was supposed to find uh, coming up here. Um, oh, I was trying to go read the the thing. Uh, not read the thing, but you know, break the thing by talking to it from the from the front. Uh, you know, hold the sacred power wind. Uh, whatever rattles my mind. Yep. Uh, but we can come over here, and we have the entryway to the second dungeon. The, the hot, hot times and my, mine, mine. It's all a mine. Uh, so we'll be doing that next time. I do think I missed a heart piece on this mountain, though. 
So I guess I'll go find that before we end the episode? I didn't, mi I didn't miss it. I just can't count anymore. That's the end of the episode. Peace.